From ABC News, live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Plus, stop. how in the world could you possibly lose 50 pounds if you're one of the country's best young chefs? Well, Iron Chef America winner Jesse Schenker wow. reveals how he did it and whips up two tasty recipes just to show you how we can do it too. I love that food is becoming much more healthy yep. everywhere you go. Amen to that. Amen to that. Yes. All right, coming up, he won Iron Chef America and the Battle of the Bulge. We are in the kitchen with Jesse Schenker. We are back now with one of the hottest young chefs in the country. Everyone says so. Jesse Schenker's New York City restaurant reset gets rave reviews. By the way, we're going to say it's, it's, it's the New York Times that says that. It's New York Magazine that says that. You won Iron Chef America. Yeah. Uh, GQ Magazine, or Details Magazine, I mean, calls you one of the America's best young chefs. Everybody loves you. So, Thank, Sam, thanks so much for having me. No, nah, thank you for being here. Yeah. We can just continue the trend with GMA puts the best on the table right in front of you. But let me ask you this. You went from 255 pounds to 200 pounds. Do we have pictures of that? Uh, even a, like a side-by-side? -side? Oh, wow. There's a huge difference in you, and you're always around food, and you're always around great food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So how in the world do you do that? Um, well, the trick is really, you don't have to stop eating tasty food. You just have to go for low calorie, low carb, still flavorful food. So chicken breast is a great idea. It's low calorie and you still got to add flavor to it. So basically I have a great recipe right here that I okay. can show you with, uh, with grilled chicken breast. We'll broil it with some great vegetables. So you still want to add flavor. So seasoning like vinegar, it's so important, mustard. Because no one wants. To, I mean, even when you just look at a chicken breast, it says, "Hey, I'm not so interesting." You yeah. know what I mean? So you got to make it interesting. You got to spurs it up. You yeah. still want flavor. So we'll make a nice marinade with mustard, some sherry vinegar. Very nice. And you definitely want to add some aromatics. So fresh thyme, garlic that we've crushed. Because you've got to be able to smell that food. Exactly. Cooking. And some jalapeno. We just cut it. And we'll just... <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, That'll definitely. Work. Look at the, the whole one. We're going to throw the whole the one whole in? thing. Because okay. right. what we'll do is we'll marinate it whole, and then we'll just remove it at the end. So it'll add the heat and the flavor, gotcha. but not make it overly spicy. Okay. All right? See, I would have been afraid to do that. But as long as you, as as long as you remove it. You. Same with the garlic. So we'll just kind of whisk it up here. Now you have all this great flavor and nothing's high fat. Okay. You know? And then we'll add it over. And we can marinate this for anywhere from four to six hours. If you want to go overnight, you can. The longer you leave it, the more flavor will impart. Put it in a glass dish or Ziploc it, or what do you think Ziploc is, is a great idea. Okay. Or you could put it in a, in a glass dish as well, or plastic is totally fine. All right, just as long as it all soaks in. Exactly. So give it a while. You want to get a nice flavor on the outside. So right. we, we'll put it on a boiler dish, and we'll just put it in the oven for like 350, 350 degrees for eight to nine minutes or until it's cooked all the way through. I'm personally afraid to, to use the oven. I yeah. shouldn't be, so just turn it on broil and put it in Totally there. on broil. All right. Just all put right. it on there, you know, set a timer. So at the same time, we're going we're gonna to roast some vegetables. So you want to think texture, because texture, when you get chewing, you're working the jaw muscles, and you're really, it satisfies you in that, in that, in, you know, in a, in a psychological way. You know, you right. think you're eating more, you know? Okay. So a little bit of olive oil, nice hot skillet. And we'll add leafy vegetables that are high in fiber, right? And in these, these are the kind of things you, you can have as much as this as you want. You can eat the whole pan. You can you have really the whole pan. To. I like to double the veg to the protein. So if Perfect. I'm having four ounces of veg, I want eight, eight ounces Keeps of vegetables. That nice, really full Lots feeling. of fiber, exactly, exactly. And just, again, still flavor. So we'll do this. We'll do some spinach, some celery, mm, some texture. Olive oil smells so good, everybody. Yes. That is. Some broccoli. We love broccoli. Yep. And then we'll just cook it all together. We can add mushrooms. Right? So good. I'm, is everybody eating? Yeah. Everyone's there? Oh, yeah. Everyone says yes? Is so, everybody yeah. eating? Yeah. We eating? So, so we can add the same marinade that we added for the chicken to help season it up. That's the finished product. Okay. And here it is. It's delicious. The broccoli, yeah. honestly, is what? Uh, Lara, would you tell everybody where you can get Jesse's recipes <laughs> while I'm actually starting? No, she's eating too. Wait a minute. How can we do this if we're all eating? Go to goodmorningamerica.com. Thank you, Josh. On wow. Wow. Coming up tomorrow on GMA, deals and steals. Teasing with your mouth full, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right, it. George live from the Vatican tomorrow. Meanwhile, fill up the coffee cup, go to the computer. GMA Live is next. <laughs>